Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky at the uh, St. Stephen's uh, online TV, St. Stephen's TV studio. And uh, I want to thank you for being with me again for another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master. We're in a series uh, talking about a man named Caleb who um, didn't believe what 10 other men believed. God had positioned the nation of Israel to cross over into the promised land. But after spying out the land, Caleb, Joshua, and 10 other spies, uh, they came back with conflicting reports about what they would experience in the land. <clears throat> 10 spies came back with a negative report saying that the land swallows people up, that there's not enough food uh, to feed the nation, and then more importantly, there are giants in the land. <clears throat> but Caleb, we are told, had a different attitude. He said, we can do it because God is with us. And we're talking about <clears throat> the we can do it spirit. <clears throat> because um, the fact of the matter is, if you ask, if I would ask the question, <clears throat> which one of them was right? Was Caleb right or were the other 10 spies right? The 10 spies said, we can't. The, and Caleb and Joshua said, we can. Who was right? <clears throat> Answer, <clears throat> they both were. The 10 spies were right. <clears throat> And Joshua and Caleb were right. Now you may ask, well, how can they both be right when they're saying two different things? Well, this is one of the reasons why they both are right. Because the 10 spies said we can't. And if that's what you believe, you're right. You can't. But Caleb and Joshua said I can because God said I can. And if that's what you believe, you're right. In other words, whatever you believe you can do, either you can or you can't, becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And what made Caleb said he believe he could, which became a self-fulfilling prophecy, because eventually he's going to get into the promised land, although it's, he's going to be delayed <clears throat> for 40 years from getting to the promised land and 45 years from accessing the, the parcel of land that would go to his family. <clears throat> and that's because he was hanging out with some uh, can't do folk. And you have to be careful who you hang out with, who you associate with, the, the naysayers who try to, who don't add um, fuel and coal and sticks to your fire. But when you're on fire about some great dream that you have, the 10 spies, the naysayers will come instead of adding fuel to your fire, they come with buckets of water. They're the bucket brigade who like to water down your enthusiasm, water down your fire. And you have to be careful with affiliating <coughs> with them. <coughs> Notice that Caleb is hanging out with Joshua. <coughs> Find you a Joshua. And and if you just have your Joshua, sometimes you can't even find a Joshua, but if you have to stand by yourself, stand by yourself uh, and don't let the negative people cause you uh, not to prosper in 2021. See, Caleb had faith. Go back to what he said in Numbers chapter 13, verse 30. <coughs> Excuse me. Caleb silenced the people who were complaining against Moses and said, we should attack now, take the land. We are strong enough to conquer it. That is faith. We are strong enough to conquer it. They're strong enough to conquer it because Caleb had faith in God. His faith stood out. Another thing I like about Caleb is that he didn't go along to get along. Caleb was a part of the minority report. And sometimes to be great, you have to be willing to be a part of the minority report. Sometimes faith is inconvenient. The majority will think of you as though something is wrong with you. But um, you, you don't want to be a person of convenience. You want to be a person of conviction. And conviction says we are able to do it because although there are giants in the land who are bigger than us, God is bigger than the giants. Now, one of the things that Caleb, that, that fuels the faith that Caleb has is that between <clears throat> The time they left the nation, the, the, the nation of Egypt as slaves to where they are now on the outskirts of the promised land, poised to go in if they only have faith. There's 
18 months, 18 months that has passed, 18 months in which they have been in the wilderness. <clears throat> when you think of the word wilderness, the first part of that word is the word wild, wilderness, wild. And it was a wild experience for them because the desert by its definition was not fit for human habitation. But they survived it. <clears throat> and they survived it because God had performed miracles. First of all, God got them out of Egypt by parting the Red Sea. That's a miracle. And then when they crossed over the Red Sea and they're in the wilderness en route to the promised land and it takes them 18 months to get there, uh, God sustained them those 18 months. You know how God sustained them? Watch these miracles. <clears throat> God made water come out of a rock. Water come out of a rock. God sent on a daily basis manna, which was this wafer-like substance that was on the ground every morning for them to eat and sustain them. And when they started complaining <clears throat> about being tired of eating the manna, that's when God sent quail. Quail just fell down from the sky so they could eat and have quail. So for 18 months, God has sustained them. And Caleb is saying, now, wait a minute. When I look at all these miracles, I know God is in this. So since I have already seen what God has done, why should I doubt God's fidelity and power now? <clears throat> so Caleb said here, he says, he sounds the people who were complaining against Moses and said, we should attack now and take the land. We are strong enough to conquer it. One of the reasons why God does great things in your life is to build up your faith. <clears throat> that is why everybody needs a faith file. <clears throat> Your faith file is, our, and you put in the faith file uh, all of the times when you know that it had to be God who helped you to overcome. <clears throat> Another person who is a, who, who's not afraid of giants, just like Caleb, is a guy named David. <clears throat> and remember, Goliath is, is, is threatening the nation of Israel, and Goliath said, look, you send a, a representative to fight me mano a mano, and Saul, who was the sitting king, should have done it, but he didn't have any faith. <clears throat> Uh, David says, I can whoop him. I can whoop this MVP, most valuable Philistine. I can whoop him. And the reason I can whoop him is because I read my face file. And David told King Saul, he said, when I was out there in protecting my sheep, a bear came to get my sheep and I killed him. And a lion came and had the sheep in his mouth. And I grabbed that lion by the beard and took the sheep my little lamb out of its mouth. And if God helped me overcome the bear, and if God helped me overcome the lion, then surely God will help me overcome Goliath. <clears throat> and you need a faith file to remember how far God has brought you so that you can have the faith to say, let's go on in, let's take it. Be a winner, stay away from the whiners. And even though you're not there yet, keep telling yourself, you know what? I am going to have my promised land. I don't know what your promised land is. I don't know what God has put in your heart for 2021. What big dream? Stick with it. Stay with it. There will be people who will try to talk you out of it. There will be th the whiners who will say it cannot be done. You're not a whiner. You are a winner. You are a winner by faith because you have already seen what God has done. And so act on faith. Faith is acting. Faith is acting like what ain't so is so, so it can be so. Let me say that again. Hallelujah. Let me rewind that again. Faith is acting like what ain't so is so, so it can be so. Act like what ain't so is so with your broke self, with your sick self. Act like what ain't so is so, so it can be so. And that's what faith does. I pray that you will, in 2021, <clears throat> have a Caleb-like faith that says, I am standing on the promises of God who has never failed me and has sustained me all my life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. <clears throat> Give us that caleb type of faith. Don't let us listen to the whiners because we cannot be a winner if we're hanging out with the whiners. I pray, O oh Lord, that uh, you will help us to imagine 
a great future, a, a, a great life, a great life of, of achievement. And Lord, there is a tailor-made blessing for each and every one of us. Help us not to be afraid of the giants, but to seize the opportunities that we have to access those promised lands that you have ordained for us. Bless the people of God and grant that 2021 may be an exceptionally great year. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. God bless you for being with me again. Another powerful point to ponder. <clears throat> Don't forget, faith is acting like what ain't so is so, so it can be so. And <clears throat> we want to help you strengthen your faith by connecting with the church. Everybody needs a church home. You need a church home. It's long overdue. So if you don't have a church home, even if you're not in Louisville, Kentucky, you can become a part of the St. Stephen Church community. Uh, we are a digital community as well as a local church community. And you can become a digital disciple here at St. Stephen Church. If you'd like to know more information about St. Stephen's, or if you've already decided that this is the place God wants you to be a part of the St. Stephen Church experience, then contact us, email us, New Start. Email us at newstart at sclive.com. Org. God bless you. Thank you for being with me on another powerful point to ponder. And as we close out, don't forget what we say every day during COVID-19. Stay safe. Stay sane. Stay sane because faith is acting like what ain't so is so, so it can be so. Stay sane. And if you can, stay home. God bless you. See you tomorrow.